Hey everybody, Picky Gamer here. I'm going to break some news about the Coleco Chameleon from Retro VGS Inc. at the Toy Fair. Um, they have, of course, it's been like an hour or so since 9.30 when they first announced. And uh, they also got a video, which is just badass, about showing the game playing. Uh, but they're, they're, what going to happen is February 26, 2016, which that is, if we look here, calendar, we got just under two weeks. So they're going to go right here for the toy fair and then they got roughly 10 days to drop that and it says morning so i don't know what time frame i'm in eastern time but yeah february 26 is when the kickstarter and i'm watching them and they, I, i'm always going to be updating a lot of videos but um yeah let me pull up here and watch later i want to show everybody this if you look this up this is a uh, toy fair 2016 live stream which will be happening today it's going to be at 12 so I'm going to be trying to watch it too, but this is really cool that we see this video right here. So I'm going to be quiet and let this play. That cartridge, uh, this particular cartridge has got about five or six. Let me reverse it there. Hey guys, this is Mike Kennedy. We're here uh, setting up uh, the morning of uh, Toy Fair. Here's our prototype cartridge. Uh, this particular cartridge has got about five or six games on it. And uh, we're going to insert it into the slot and then we're going to set we up go. the rest of our display here. But here we go. You can see the cartridge connectors in there. Delicately push this in. There we go. We'll be turning it on here in a minute. Oh yes. Now you see he's using a different type of controller. I'll get to that in a second. Somebody dropped off another one. So I just went, yeah, because I complained that they didn't give us one in there. No worries. But I'm I think this is Jim Power. But as you see, we can finally get to see the game playing. This it looked very, very smooth, and I would love to get a really up close view of this. But this is the first time we actually get to see the Coleco Chameleon, which is the retro VTS, actually playing a cartridge. This is really neat. Jump power, but I, I hate to say it. If I can't find a copy, I might like try to emulate it. But I don't know if this system's going to have them. He's just interesting. He's had like four, five or so games in it. At this point, if you go back and play it yourself and turn it up, you hear them talking to somebody. So everybody, is, people are already getting interested. So here's Legend, I think. Yep. It looks good. It looks and plays really nice. I'm very impressed. I mean, they got this little shell over it so people don't mess with it. Never played Legend, never heard of it, but this is one of those I found on that first video, which, you know, these are re releases. And if you see right up here, they actually say that. They actually are saying they're using aftermarket SNES games, and I think maybe they're listening to people. That's really nice. I, right now, I'm very happy with this. I mean, they're showing, you know, they're showing the cartridge, they're showing the console, they're showing the gameplay, and they're telling them this is aftermarket SNES games. Um, I'll let this play and I'll give my thoughts. Okay, there, there, there was a video. Now. I'm going to hit play on it again, and let me go through some of this and kind of break this down. Like I said, this is a cartridge. You know, this is their prototype cart. And right there, you see this? Let me blow this up. Got about five or six games on it. Let me, uh, this, see the pins coming out? That is a prototype cartridge, like they say. Reason why everybody's going to say, well, why was he so ginger with it? Well, if you look at your cartridges, your Genesis, any of them, the pins are all inside of that plastic. And uh, so when the plastic links up with this, see, when it, when it mer merges or mates up with that, you don't have to worry about it. So they're the prototype cartridge, which are getting, they're, you know, they're figuring out. The pin, you know, the pins may stick out on this one because it may have to have more 
uh, space for all these games. I don't know. So again, I know people are going to nitpick about that. Uh, that those pins are sticking out for a reason. And it's a prototype cartridge. Go back if you can find the pictures of the 16 meg cartridge they made for Street Fighter 2. That thing was twice as long as that. Prototype cartridges look horrible, or at least they have some, you know, interesting. If you look here, he is holding the Super Nintendo controllers. Okay. So, you know, and then the rest of this is gameplay, and it looks really good. Yeah, Super Nintendo controller. And let's look at what it says. It's setting up this morning some gameplay video. We're using aftermarket Super NES controllers. Okay, that's what they're saying. Because the prototype controllers, many of the options, analog sticks, aren't working with these games at this time. It's easier to demo at this stage with SNES controllers. So controller cables are currently hardwired in the prototype, which the goof... Um, and I, we was talking. I think he pointed that out. So yeah, they're hardwired. It makes sense. They're, this is the prototype. It's it's working. I don't know if we can get close enough to see a light. And then we maybe all been right, Goof and I, that the light's not working yet. But you know, it's playing. He's he's running the cable directly into that thing, and it's playing. Uh, specs and interior board shots. I mean, hell, they're going to give us board shots. will be on the Kickstarter page. So that won't be until. So specs aren't going to come out until the 26th. Okay, they're here just to get everybody interested. This is not the tech, tech, tech stuff for all of us geeks who want to, you know, geek out over it. And that's okay. But, uh, yeah, this is the first few minutes, the uh, first first bit of coverage I'm putting out here. I don't know if I'm breaking this, but I, you know, this is great. We're actually seeing cartridges in the system with a controller, hardwired, doesn't matter to me. They're playing games. Um, it's looking good. I hope that, uh, yeah, also go here, search for... 24th 2016 live stream. This live stream, if you, I got the PlayStation 4 and all these other, all these consoles are streaming things. It, I'm gonna stream it here. It's 11 a, 11 11 a.m. Eastern. It's gonna be like 12 Eastern, uh, 9 Pacific, and I'm gonna start streaming this. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. So, all right, people. Uh, oh yeah, I'm just, let me look at here. I was gonna say get off here, but the Click on Chameleon website, it, it's it's not changed. Um, it's not changed. Uh, there's no systems. Yeah, this nothing's changed. So that's good. All right, people. This There's more to come. This is the first one. It's a little kind of rough video, but I want to break some of this information into this news. All right, Picky Gamer, out.